Transferring photos from your iPhone to your Mac can be done easily using two different methods. This video will explain both methods step by step, helping you choose the one that best suits your needs. Method one, we are going to use a technology called AirDrop. AirDrop is a convenient feature that allows you to transfer files wirelessly between Apple devices. This method is ideal for transferring a few photos at a time. In order to use AirDrop, you're gonna to wanna to open a program called Finder on your Mac. If you look at the dock down at the bottom, it's usually this one right here at the bottom left. It's got a little smiley face on it. Go ahead and click that. Now, once you have Finder open, you're gonna click on AirDrop. If you don't see AirDrop, that's okay. We can find it in the top menu. You're just gonna click on Go, and then you're gonna select AirDrop. At the bottom of the AirDrop window, you're gonna click on Allow Me to be Discovered by Contacts Only. You could select everyone. However, I think that for security purposes, it's probably a better option to select contacts only. That way, only people that you have in your contacts on your phone are going to be able to transfer photos to your Mac. If you're in a private place, such as your home, you can certainly select everyone and that will allow you a little bit easier access whenever you do set this up for the first time. So go with contacts only first. And if you find that that doesn't work for you, try switching it to everyone to see if that helps. At this point, we need to prepare our phone. We want to ensure that Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are turned on. So on my iPhone, I'm going to swipe down from the top right corner, and that's going to give me access to Control Center. This is going to allow me to check that both icons for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are turned blue. Both of those icons on my phone are right there at the top right of the screen. They might be in a different location for you, but as long as the Wi-Fi icon and the Bluetooth icon are blue, they are turned on and ready to go. Now that those are activated, all we need to do is open up the Photos app so we can click off anywhere or swipe up from the bottom and then click the Photos app. Now we're gonna click the Select button at the top of the screen, and that's gonna allow us to select individual photos to transfer to our MacBook. You can tap as many as you like, however, AirDrop does shine a little brighter if you use it for a limited number of photos. A good guideline to use AirDrop is that it's the most appropriate of the two options we are gonna cover if you are transferring 20 photos or less. Once you have all of the pictures selected that you wanna transfer, you're gonna tap the Share button, which is a square with an arrow pointing out of it at the bottom left of the screen. From this menu, you wanna look for the AirDrop option. Since I've transferred items before, my Mac automatically pops up. It says Ronnie Williams iMac. If this is the first time that you're using AirDrop, it is likely that that doesn't pop up. So you can just hit AirDrop, and then you can select your AirDrop device from this list just by tapping on it. Once the transfer is complete, the photos are gonna be saved in my downloads folder. So I'll open up my downloads folder, and because those photos were a little bit older, they're categorized in the previous seven days, but there they are right there. Now let's talk about method two. Method two, we're gonna be using a USB cable, so I identified method one for AirDrop was best used with 20 photos or less. So if you have more than 20 photos, and especially if you're transferring video files, method two, which is using a USB cable, is gonna be a better method for you. Your first step is gonna to be to connect your iPhone to your Mac with a USB cable. So go ahead and plug your phone in to your Mac. Once you connect your USB cable to your iPhone, you're gonna get a pop-up that asks if you trust this computer. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click trust. And then you're gonna to need to enter your device passcode in order to trust the computer. Now you're gonna to wanna to launch the Photos app from your dock on your Mac using the same steps that we did before to open Finder. So go down to your dock, find the Photos icon, and click it. In the Photos app, you're gonna look for iPhone under the Devices section on the left-hand sidebar and click on it. Once your iPhone is recognized, you will see all the photos available for transfer. You can select specific photos by clicking on them, or you can click Import All New Items to Transfer Everything. In this case, we're just gonna click on a couple of photos, and then we're gonna click Import 3 Selected. These photos are now a part of your photo library. Notice how fast that was and why it's a great idea that if you are transferring multiple pictures above 20 or video files, it's a lot easier and faster to utilize the USB cable method. Transferring photos from your iPhone to your Mac can be done effortlessly with either AirDrop for a few photos or a USB cable for larger batches. Choose the method that best fits your needs and enjoy organizing your photos on your Mac. 
I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully you are now more tech wise.